CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. We begin this evening with uh, news raining down like cats and dogs, literally. First, a heartbreaking story of a little dog facing a big fight. The severely neglected animal was discovered a week ago, barely able to walk, covered in mats, open wounds, even maggots. Its owners are now facing animal cruelty charges and could face stiff penalties. But as CTV Stephanie Sherlock tells us tonight, the focus for now is on Tiny as the little pup fights for its life. We want to warn you that some of these pictures are disturbing. It breaks my heart. It really does. Her name is Tiny, and she comes by it honestly. She's got an exceptional little soul to her. I mean, she's just a really sweet little girl. A sweet little girl fighting for her life. This is, uh, you know, right at the top of the list as far as severity of neglect, yes. It may not look like it, but she's already come a long way since being rescued by a good Samaritan on Thursday. And I couldn't believe what I saw because this tiny little um, Shih Tzu was totally encased in um, mats. Under the mats, massive open sores infested with maggots. The maggots are gone, but the wounds and dead skin are evidence of systematic neglect. So this has been ongoing for quite some time. And that's not all. Tiny is also suffering from severe dental disease, renal disease, and her kidneys are failing. What is her prognosis? It's grim. It's very grim for her. Her prognosis is poor. Tiny's guardian angel found her wandering down Pryor Street. She immediately took her to the SPCA, who identified her needs were extreme and took her directly to the Elk Lake Veterinary Hospital. She's just exhausted. She's drained. But in the best place possible, a loving foster home. She's round the clock care, force feeding, subcute fluids, keeping her heat regulated with a heating pad. Um, we don't know if she's going to make it. I mean, it doesn't look that promising at this point. Soon to face animal cruelty charges, her owners have been identified by the animal lover who found her. She actually did a bit of door knocking and, and walked around, uh, reported back to us a few suspected locations. And in fact, one of the locations she believed to be Tiny's home turned out to be exactly that. With only two animal protection officers covering the South Island, the BCSPCA says it's important that we all pay attention to the animals around us. What happened to her should never have happened. And, you know, we want the community to know that, you know, there are tinies out there. And for the Good Samaritan that brought her in, we want more people, you know, if they see things, to report it. To save other pets from Tiny's fate. I hope to give her some quality of life. That's my only goal right now. Keep her comfortable, warm, and safe. Stevie's uh, Stephanie Sherlock joins us now live with more. Stephanie, you look at that and you wonder, how, how do you do that to an animal? How do you do it to a pet? What penalties, uh, if any, uh, could, could Tani's owner face? Well, Hudson, the BCSPCA is actively investigating, and they do intend to bring charges against Tiny's owners. If convicted, they could face up to five years in jail, a fine of up to $75,000, and a ban on owning any other animals. And yes, you're right, it is heartbreaking. The focus right now, of course, is on little Tiny. She really does need a miracle. All right. Stephanie Sherlock, thank you. You're welcome.